Yo, did Lupita steal Jody Turner's man? Or did Jody Turner steal Lupita's man? I don't know what's happening, y'all. But Lupita done broke up. Lupita has been spotted with Jody Turner's recently announced, soon to be ex husband. It's a thing, okay? So I want to talk about it. Can we talk about it? I want to talk about it because I don't know what's happening. I don't know if someone stole someone's husband, someone stole someone's boyfriend, or was the universe just, you know, right time, right place? I don't know what's going on, but let's discuss it. <laughs> So as of this video, 18 days ago was October the 2nd, and that is when Jodi Turner announced she was divorcing her husband, Joshua Jackson. Now we already had an issue with their relationship. We all thought it was kind of weird, not the interracial part of it, the thirst, the part that made her seem so damn thirsty. She proposed to him. It was a whole thing. For me, it didn't look like, I never think that if you have to propose to a man, he don't want you. He just accepted the wedding because, you know, what else? Why not at that point, right? So TMZ dropped this article. I'll put a screenshot somewhere. Uh, it says Jody Turner Smith, okay, files from divorce from Joshua Jackson. Okay, um, Jody Turner pulling the plug on her marriage to Joshua Jackson. TMZ had learned she filed for divorce. The British actress model cites um, irreconcilable um, record, uh, the differences, okay, as the reason for the divorce. According to the docs filed by whoever, Jody is asking for joint custody of their three-year-old daughter, Juno. Um, Jody wants to take spousal support off the table for birth for both her and Joshua. There's no prenup in place. Now, Yes, Joshua was a Dawson's Creek star. I remember him, of course. But, like, she has been in a lot of movies recently, you know, and this is what happens when you're running into situations trying to lock down some dude who don't even want you, okay? I don't even know how long they've been married. They've been married for about five years. That's about the breaking point for um, he's really not that into you sort of situations, Nonetheless, so this happened two weeks ago, two weeks ago. This man moves quick. I don't know what's going on. So yesterday, okay, yesterday there was uh, photos dropped of Joshua Jackson. Okay, the same guy with Lupita at a um, Janelle Monet concert. Yes, they were with a group of friends, but they showed up together and allegedly left together. And then, I believe it was today, yesterday, okay? This happened all this week. Because first, people were like, it's not a big deal. You know, people are friends, ah, 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 you know? But when that dropped, again, two weeks after, 18 days at this point, after the, um, Joshua and Jody's divorce, pending divorce was announced, okay? Lupita just dropped, and let me read it to you. I'm going to put it here, but let me read it to you. There's so much more important things going on in the world right now, and my thoughts with uh, with those who are deeply suffering. At, them, at this moment, it's not necessary for me to share my personal truth and publicly dissociate myself from someone I can no longer trust. Now, this is where we get, ooh, right here, okay? She can no longer trust him. Find myself in a sudden heartbreak because of a love suddenly and devastatingly extinguished by deception. What's happening, y'all? I am tempted to run into the shadows and hide, only re to return to the light when I have regained my strength um, enough for me to say, whatever, my life is better this way. But I am reminded that the magnitude of the pain I am feeling is equal to the measure of my capacity for love. I love that. And so I am um, choosing to face the pain, 
cultivating the courage to meet my life exactly as it is and trusting that this too shall pass. The promise, they say, is that a tender heart is what gives birth to fearlessness. I hope it's true. I share this to keep it a hundred and hoping that the knowledge of my experience might be useful to someone else out there experiencing a grip of heartbreak who is poised to try and escape from the pain and miss out on the wisdom that comes from it. Hashtag breakup. Let's face our pain so we don't spread it. Wow. Wow. Okay, so off of just people posting pictures, because again, in the comments, people were saying, well, she's in a relationship. Off of that, she let it be known that they're not together and that he betrayed her. Okay, I don't know. Okay, did he mess with Jody? Was there a freaking love triangle? Is this equivalent of a Lifetime movie? I don't know. Y'all, we have to figure this out because this sounds so interesting, okay? This is just so interesting, all right? I, I don't know. This is a Nollywood movie waiting to freaking happen. Two breakups, a divorce, okay? A divorce between Jody and Joshua, the African and the white guy, okay? We love them both. Whatever. We don't like the fact that she proposed, but that's a story for another day. And then 18 days later, okay, after video or pictures of Lupita and Joshua with the other friends come out, a day later, Lupita drops this information telling us that she went, she's going through a breakup. She's heartbroken. She's trying to deal. She's trying not to let it destroy her. She's trying to be out and about. So are we going to hear about six months, eight months, a year from now, these two brokenhearted friends? This is, they're actors. This is a Lifetime movie waiting to happen. What do y'all think? Drop down in the description. I mean, in the comment section. Tell me what y'all think is going on. Because y'all already know what I think is going on. I think that this is about to get real, real juicy.